I have one issue that I need to address like the numbers on the house. And that issue is MP. Let's talk about MP. I'm hearing his coach isn't a fan. Thinks he's more into fame than actually hooping. And I got to say, I agree wholeheartedly. You, hear, you ever hear of an NBA player with a YouTube channel? Michael Jordan didn't have no YouTube channel. LeBron James don't have no YouTube channel. Let's get serious here, people. I'd be shocked if MP starts a game this year. This coach isn't starstruck. He's going to make MP earn every single minute, as it should be. But, hey, maybe I'm wrong. All eyes are on MP now. Is he going to fold under the pressure? If I'm Harvey Lesser, the GM who overruled his coach, I'm up at night sweating all over this. Good luck, Mr. Lesser. You and MP are going to need it. I'm not surprised at all that MP was stooped this low. I told y'all he didn't like the coach. And you know with that little channel of his, he wants the drama. It's good for ratings. Believe me, I know. And can we talk about this tweet for a second from user start MP, you idiots? First of all, is that your burner, MP? I refuse to believe a real person would name themselves that. Second of all, the tweet said, and I quote, free my boy MP. I swear y'all clowns wouldn't know Michael Jordan if he smacked you in the face. Are you kidding me, MP? You think you're Michael Jordan? And you want to talk about clowns? The only clown here is you, running around with your Twitter fingers, acting like a fool like this. Hey, y'all, I got to talk about this interview MP gave to my boy, Frank Valentine. First of all, nice scoop, Frank. You did good here. Second of all, I told y'all, this relationship is doomed. Dirty laundry in the press, finger pointing, complaining. Speaking of which, now I'm hearing MP wants out entirely. Does this surprise me? How do you salvage this relationship between him and coach after all he's done and so publicly? I know I wouldn't want this YouTube star on my team after all that. I hate to say I told you so. But if the shoe fit, wear it. This was a bad idea on day one, and it's a bad idea today. If I'm Harvey Lesser, I cut my losses and trade this kid immediately. He's not worth it. Oh, do we have big news today <laughs> in our basketball world is that our old friend MP officially wants out. We knew this thanks to the embarrassing interview he gave to Candace Green of the pin down. Not only did he confirm that he wants a trade, making this way too public, but he talked about where he wants to get traded. This kid is an embarrassment to the game. What have you done to demand a trade this early in your career, MP, and then make it all public like this? You're making it impossible for your GM, who overruled his coach to draft you, by the way, to get a good return for you. It's an embarrassment, plain and simple. But what do you expect from this so-called YouTube star? Not about the game, all about the fame. Carry on. Here we go. I knew this was coming. I got a lot of you fools in my mentions over MP's first game with his new team. Only a fool despise wisdom, okay? You think one good game means something? Well, I got news for you. One good game doesn't prove you're allowed to act like he did. And I need to see a lot more from this kid before I crown him. Let's see him make an all-star team. Let's see what he does in the playoffs. Y'all out here tripping over one game? Please. You've got to show me a lot more than that to get my attention. Carry on. Well, well, we're getting pretty close to the All-Star break here. What do you know? MP's name does not seem to be at the top of anyone's list. I'm not the one to gloat, but this just goes to show I was right. MP's all talk, no game. 
We knew this coming into the season, and now that tree is bearing fruit. For those of y'all still holding out hope, I say give up. MP wants the glory, but he doesn't want to put in the work. What did you expect from this so-called YouTube star? Forget the season. I'd be shocked if he ever make an all-star team. That's how I see it anyway. I'm not starstruck by this kid. I just see the game. MP, what can I say? I was wrong about you, brother. You could put together a nice little season here. Rookie of the Year favorite, MVP contentions. It's impressive, no doubt, which is why I hope you don't crack under pressure. Now, I'm not saying you will. I've learned not to bet against you, but this is going to be unlike anything you've seen in your life. This ain't YouTube. This is the NBA. You're going to have more press, more fans, more everything than ever before as you chase this thing. I got to be honest. I'm not sure you got what it takes to pull this off, but I guess we'll see. Carry on. Home court advantage is more important in the NBA than in any other sport. And MP and company are on the verge of clinching home court at least through the first round. But I got to say, I don't think they've got the killer mentality to get it done. Teams these days care more about rest than playoff position. And I get it. You don't want to get hurt. Nobody does. But this is a competition. This is sports. Injuries are going to happen. If it's up to me, I'm going all out to get that home court advantage. But I guess I'm a competitor and we're a dying breed these days. And by the way, fans help you win games. Carry on. Looks like MP and company have earned themselves some pretty good playoff seating. And that's big. Y'all know how I'm all about the home court advantage, but now the expectations are big too. Anything less than a deep run is going to be a disappointment. Unfortunately for fans of MP, I think there's some disappointment in your future. This team relies way too much on him. And even though he had an okay rookie season, he's completely untested in the playoffs. This is a whole different game now, MP. You're up for it? It's that time of year again, my friends. My favorite time of the year, the NBA playoffs. Who wants to smoke? This is where legends are made. LeBron King James, Kobe Mamba Bryant, Michael Jeffrey Jordan, Larry Legend Bird. If you want to be an all-time great, you got to do it on the biggest stage, under the brightest lights, with the most pressure possible. That's what separates the good from the great, the real from the fake. If you're a fraud, you'll get exposed in the playoffs point blank. Things get physical this time of year, and you get every team's best shot every single night. If this doesn't get your blood pumping, then you don't like basketball. Straight up. It's playoff time, baby. Let's get it. I mean, wow. We're one win away from MP winning a chip. In addition to being a front runner for rookie of the year and MVP, that's something nobody has done in the history of professional basketball. Can the kid do the impossible? He's been proving me wrong all season, and I'm not about to bet against him now. That's right. I'm on the MP train fully. Shoot, I'm driving it. MP is the truth. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. And Smart Money says he gets it done tomorrow night. And I'm an MP believer, baby. Carry on. What's wrong? Looks like it's time for me to eat a little crow. MP was just named the regular season MVP. And guess what? He deserved it. That's right. I was wrong about the so-called YouTube star. So-called? No more, my brother. You can hoop. Simple as that. And I'm man enough to admit I was wrong. Are you man enough to accept my apology? I've always tried to call it like I see it, and right now I see what everyone else sees. 
the best player in the game today. Congratulations, kid. Can't wait to see what you got in store for us next year. You've been named Finals MVP. Fourth quarter shot, you know I get a ball and money in my pocket. No, I'm no stranger to ball and no, I feel a gamble, but I promise that.